My name is Dale LaCure, and I am really passionate about helping families create healthier, happier, and more financially secure homes. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. There's lots of great information coming, and I will see you soon. Here we go. Another amazing Tuesday testimonial. My name is Dale LaCure, and I love helping families create health and harmony using holistic mental wellness solutions. And I have Tony Thompson Smith with me. Tony Smith Thompson. Sorry about that. Um, she has a remarkable story because she is like a mother bear. She was not going to give up on her daughter. She went to GPs, immunologists, pulmonologists, neurologists, gastroenterologists, <laughs> endocrinologists, gynecologists, infectious disease, and psychologists for her daughter who was suffering with so many different things. And they identified the one thing, but they didn't give her any answers. Like, no, like, how do we cure this? How do we get the body to heal? And I don't know about you, but I do believe that the body has the ability to heal if we put it in the right environment. So Tony, thank you so much for sharing your story. I know this story will move many people, give people hope that there always are solutions. There's always a way. You just have to keep like persevering. So you kind of took your whole daughter's health into your own hands and give us an idea of kind of like where she was at, like what types of symptoms did she have? And then what were you able to find that completely turned everything around? Okay, so th first of all, thank you for having me on here to talk about this because it's very important because mm -hmm. I was clueless about healing your body naturally. Like I, I didn't know, I'd never, I'd heard a little bit about those things, but I'd never been, um, you know, put in a position or, or taught about it. And so I didn't know. But what happened with my daughter is there was a couple years before this happened, a couple years before like 2017. So she would have been around 15, maybe, maybe a little bit younger than that. And she was having a lot of issues with her hair, hair loss, some anxiety, just a few things that led me to believe that maybe she had some thyroid issues. But whenever we would go to the doctor, the they would always say her test results were fine. So fast forward up to 2017, December of 2017, she got really sick with a virus and we took her to her pediatrician. They tested her normal testing and just gave her like some antibiotics and some stuff for nausea and sent her home. But she was very like she was about to the point where she would like pass out, just feeling really dizzy all the time. She she had been having headaches pretty much daily, and I didn't even know it. Migraines mm -hmm. a lot, a lot of hormonal things. She would have to stay home from the from school with her cycle. I had really bad migraines, so we were in uh, maybe a week or so past going to her pediatrician the first time when we went back and he had, she had been going there her entire life. So he knew her, right? Mm -hmm. um, so he said, let's do some more tests, tests a little bit more in depth because it could be um, three things. And he named them off and I didn't know what any of them were. And we got the test results back and he said, she has mycoplasma pneumonia, which is walking pneumonia, which is not really supposed to be a big deal. You know, I've, heard of many people getting walking pneumonia, taking some antibiotics, being fine. What ended up happening from December of 2017 was my child got sicker and sicker and never got rid of the mycoplasma pneumonia. Um, and we had to finally transfer her to a general practitioner because her depression and anxiety was so bad that we had to move to a, a doctor that like, because most pediatricians, won't give anything more than like Prozac because it's, it's got a black box label. And so they don't want to risk the suicidal ideations happening. And so we had to move her to a, an adult doctor basically. Um, and what we went on from there was more medications. Nothing was working. Nothing was helping her depression. Nothing was helping her anxiety. She was getting sicker. She was, throwing up all the time um, mm -hmm. we were going to the ER and, and like in the middle of the night, she would come in and say, I've been throwing up for two hours. Like she would throw up for hours on end. She had chronic insomnia. Um, and this is while she was like 17, 18 years old. When she was 18, we finally got her diagnosed with hypothyroidism. 
And also she was never, she's always been small. She was premature. Um, she was like eight weeks early. And so she was never um, able to gain weight. And I just thought it was her. She just had a high metabolism and that, you know, cause her dad and her grandmother on his, his mom was really thin. So I just thought that's just her genes, you know, it's her genetics. She's so, but we were constantly going to doctors. They were referring her from one doctor to another mm -hmm. to try to figure out exactly to pinpoint what was wrong with her, right? Like the mycoplasma pneumonia is why they sent her to the pulmonologist to try to like figure out maybe it's um, something with her lungs or, or whatever. And so, so at, at what point did you like realize like this is we're just like spending all our time going to doctors and getting no no answers and no results and no changes. Like at what point did you say enough already? Like my daughter can't function like this. Like this can't go on. Well, what what's weird is that, uh, well, I've always been like a researcher and like trying to figure out like a problem solver, if you will. Like I've always been trying to figure out like what is wrong. I, I like to read, I like to research. And so I had been reading up on thyroid issues and different things like that for a while now because I still in the back of my mind, I thought something's wrong with her because because a mama knows, right? A mama knows yeah. when there's something really wrong with her child. Mm -hmm. And so I was I spent my nights Googling symptoms and diagnoses and, and all this thing. And I ended up running across some information on natural healing on herbs and and all those kind of things. And so I had been kind of like dabbling around in it a little bit and um, because we kept going to doctor after doctor and I wasn't getting any answers. And honestly, I was getting more of like, like they didn't, they didn't even, they didn't either want to help. They didn't know how to help. They didn't wow. believe us. I don't know what the case was, wow. but if a mama and a daughter are sitting there. You have all these records of saying, we've been here. We're trying this. No medications are working. Then if you, I feel like as in the medical field like somebody needs to be responsible to be like let's dig a little further and figure out what's going on and and granted they did refer us out but it would come back fine so yeah so her daughter and I know I've heard her story and she actually has her story written in our mental wellness warriors group so what she found was that everything goes back to the gut so she started to implement this specific gut brain access protocol and little by little, her daughter literally came back to life. So today, her daughter is thriving. She doesn't live in pain. She doesn't have headaches. She doesn't have menstrual symptoms. She doesn't have low thyroid, doesn't have endometriosis. So all of those things have dissipated. So it's pretty amazing. So I hope you enjoyed this. Again, I love Tuesdays to share different testimonials. It's amazing the stories that we see, the transformations that we see, the lives that have been changed. Like it just fills my heart beyond belief. And my daughter also had just an amazing transformation and literally has her life back, which is why I'm so committed to this. If you want to describe like where your daughter's at now and how long did it take for her to really start noticing changes when you implemented this gut brain access protocol? Okay, so I found the, you know, the solution that she's on now, like 23 months into her illnesses. So when she started implementing the gut burn connection protocol, she, that within a couple of days, she was sitting on the couch in the living room instead of in her bedroom. And so I said, Grace, are you noticing anything different? Has anything changed? And she, her, her words were, it's kind of hard to explain. It's like my brain is telling my body to get up and move for the first time in a very long time. Whoa. But my, my body still hurts, but my mind is telling me to get up and move. So, um, so those just, those things just kind of got better, got better within a couple of weeks. She started sleeping better all through the night. And we all know that's critical. Like if we don't get the right amount of sleep and we don't get the, mm. the, right, the right quality of sleep, um, our health is going to just diminish. So that was good. And then um, within th three weeks, that's when we went to the infectious disease doctor. That was actually the last um, 
specialist that she saw and she had been on the books with him for a few months then. So we went in to see him and I told him what we were doing now, because at that time she was only taking the, the her medication for her hypothyroidism. That was it at that point, because no, nothing else honestly was working anyway. So we just got rid of everything except for the, um, the natural solution. So he put her in the hospital, tested her for everything that she had been tested for at one time, including the mycoplasma pneumonia. And for the first time in 23 months, she tested negative for the mycoplasma pneumonia. And the only thing that had changed was that she implemented the gut brain connection protocol. Mind blowing, mind blowing. So literally that is an incredibly inspiring story. So again, I'm going to invite you to, you know, go over into the mental wellness warriors community and you can see more stories in there. Thank you for watching and have an amazing day. I'll be back for Tuesday testimonial next week. Have a great day.